Hey y'all, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews, where I review all kinds of products. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And in particular, if you find this video useful, be sure to hit that like button before you go. Maybe leave a comment saying thanks. Really helps out the channel a ton, and I greatly appreciate it. So today's product is available on Amazon, and I've included a link in the description that will take you to the product page where you can see the current price point, see if it's on sale, all that lovely information. But what is it? It is a portable power station by a company called Ugreen, and this is the Power Roam 600 model. What this is perfect for, if you are in, uh, let's say you have a power outage and you need to run some appliances, you can plug it into this. If you are camping, it's a great device to bring on um, when you have a static campsite, because it is heavy, you don't want to basically backpack with this, but you can power up all kinds of devices, charge up your phones, you can run microwaves, you can do a lot of stuff. You can also bring this down to like a boat dock or in your backyard, basically anywhere you don't have access to a power outlet, you don't want to pull out an extension cord, you can utilize this device on. It is very versatile in its uses. So let's go over everything you're going to get as soon as you unbox it. So first thing you can see here is the device right next to me. Um, in addition to that, you're going to get everything you need. You will get a user manual that is very easy to read. Take a look at this because it shows a lot of the features that we're going to cover right now. Then you're going to get this nice little bag here, which is what you're going to store all the cables in that you are not utilizing. So let's go over those right now. First off, you are going to get a charging cable. This is how you're going to power it up via a standard outlet. So this is an AC charging cable. Then you are just going to get a little connection cable to power up external devices. If you need this, the little DC connection cable there. Another way to power this device up is if you are have a car or a boat with a cigarette lighter, you can plug that in here and then this will charge up via that way, which is a nice option. Then finally, uh, if you want to charge this up via solar panels, it comes with a solar panel adapter. Um, give you an idea of battery life of this little guy. Uh, it will take around 60 minutes to charge up via a standard outlet and you'll hear the fans and there'll be a clock and it'll basically show you what level it is and how much time it goes but if it's from zero to about 80 percent will take approximately an hour if you are charging via solar panels um that's going to vary depending on the solar panel size but let's say you're using a 200 watt solar panel it's going to take about four to five hours depending on full sun exposure cloudy days and all that kind of information uh, but it has a lot of different ways you can charge it up. How are you going to utilize that? That's all here on the side under this door. So you just simply open the door and you will see you're going to have a little button in case you need to reset the device in case it has a ground uh, fault circuit type situation. Then you have your AC plug that you will plug in to charge there that way. And then you're going to have your little adapter here, which you can utilize for either the cigarette lighter or the solar panel. And then you have a little screw right here. If you need, want to ground this device, you can do that also. And it's all nice and hid on the side. There is also a fan on the uh, side also. So it basically will intake the air and push it out the other eye side to keep it nice and cold. Then let's go over the front here of the device. So uh, to turn it on, just simply press the on off button here at the bottom. You will see it has a nice, bright, easy to read screen. It is also worth noting you can connect this device via an app, uh, via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, uh, and it'll show you additional stats. You'll have be able to control uh, different items via that app, which is really nice. You'll be able to put it in quiet mode, which will just make the fan run a lot less. It'll energy saving modes. It'll have child lock, so that way um, if you have a kid, they won't be able to press any of the buttons um, and change any of the settings. So there's a lot of features via the app that you can adjust with. But you have right here, it shows you your uh, wattage input and the time. Then it has the battery percentage in the middle screen, and then it has your output um, in kind of the hours there. On the left-hand side, you're going to have a light, which will have two brightness modes. So you kind of have like this medium load, and then you're going to have a brighter mode. In addition to that, it has a flashing mode, which is just going to draw attention. And then it has the SOS mode if you need to utilize this in an emergency. Then on the front here, it has two USB-C ports. Um, these are 100 watt powered each, so they can do kind of fast charging. They are directional only, so they can only go out to charge devices. You cannot charge this device through that USB, so keep that in mind. Then you have two um, USB-A ports, which are rated for 22.5 watts, once again, for faster charging there. 
Um, and then you're gonna have over here, this is where you will have a cigarette, um, basically car DC outlet plug right there. Um, and then you have your output uh, for the little uh, 12 volt um, 10 amp control here, which is that other little cable that I showed you earlier. That was um, this little guy, if you're utilizing this. I haven't really utilized this too much. Um, you have a little button here, which you can press, which will turn it into DC mode versus AC mode. So it has be able to change the current as needed. Um, and then on the main side, which is the big feature that I use here, uh, this you have um, five different AC plugs. You have three that have the grounding option, and then you have two with the standard options right there. And so you have a lot of different features with this little guy. Um, overall, like I said, uh, it's a nice heavy duty device, very easy to utilize, carry, um, and it's perfect for, especially if you have a power outage. And like I said, I love it just for the fact that if you're in a place, we don't have a ton of outlets in my house, so if there's a place like I'm in the backyard and I wanna run a portable fan, just plug it into this and I'm good for a ton of time because it lasts a long time. Like I said, it has that, um, it can power up to appliances up to 1500 watts. So that means you can use a mini fridge plug to this. You can have a microwave plug to this, laptop fans. Obviously, depending on the various devices, how many devices you have will depend on how long it will last. If you're having just like a fan in this thing, this thing is going to last forever just due to that massive battery size that is packed in here. Overall, that's the ins and outs of this portable power station by Ugreen. If you are in the market for a device like this, I think this one is totally worth checking out. If there's something that I didn't quite cover that you're a little curious about, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I do typically respond to those. And that is it until the next video. You guys, take it easy. Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, greatly appreciated for the support. Be sure to uh, hit that like button on the video. It really, really does help out. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when new videos come out on this channel.